<laughs> Pandas. Today, we have an exciting project today. Today, well, I met a new friend and he's helping, he does estate sales. Uh, how do I say? I'm not sure anybody would appreciate being called a hoarder, so I'm gonna use that word gently, but we're scrapping out a hoarder's house. There's so much junk there, you have no idea. This is gonna be great. I completely forgot what I already said, so if I double explain something, it is what it is. This is an estate sale that has been going on for the better part of a month now. A fellow sold his house, and uh, it, it's not some tragedy. The, the owner of the house is still alive and very pleased with the, the sale that he's made. Um, but he needs to get everything out quickly, as quick as possible anyway. So they've been having a sale and they've moved quite a bit of stuff. I went there earlier, um, days ago, to check stuff out. Actually, I was hunting down an old TV. I know, it's like really old, just some stupid 1980s chunk of glass, it's whatever. But uh, I didn't buy it because they wanted a bunch of money and I was just but they may have sold a whole bunch of stuff since, I hope they've sold a whole bunch of stuff since I've been there. Best case scenario, they've sold a whole bunch more stuff since I was there and it doesn't look quite as uh, stacked as it was when I first saw it, but this fellow was passionate about cars and uh, all, there's a lot of metal and that's why we're going. We're going to help load it all up and see how much we can get from this house full of metal. I'm hoping that old TV is there, but it doesn't really matter because we are in it for the metal. We're here. I don't think I'm supposed to park here, but I gotta go somewhere. Okay, come check this out, seriously. First off, Those are all aluminum. I don't understand. Tile. Good. Those are empty. This man has big barbecues here. The whole neighborhood. Here we have a little treat. Ooh. I've never actually taken one of these out. Okay, it's not that good of a shelf. I'm not gonna cry over it. I don't know what to think about any of this. I don't even know what's under there. These planters? I wish I could tell you what the plan was with the car. I do not know. Nice. Those are good ones. Oh. Oh, good. <laughs> Bunch of good weight right there. And then this. Ones are good. Ooh. Hello. Wait, what is that? What is that? Car parts or something? I don't know. 
We got some some stainless. I haven't even looked in here yet. Ooh. Well, it keeps most of the rain off. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. We're good. That's nice. This thing's cool. Those are great. Is that brass? No. Maybe. Where are these? Oh. Those are aluminum. Nice. All these are aluminum. Oh my god, that is beautiful. A little bit of stainless steel. Okay, beautiful. I think it's beautiful. That's beautiful. That one's stainless. Some kind of steel. More. So you see what I'm saying? There's a bunch. A whole bunch. Let's get to work. <laughs> Grass? No, that's rust. Oh. And this is just the yard. Lots of work to do, that's for darn sure. Is that a bike? Of course there's a bike. Why wouldn't there be a bike? You know, it's a beautiful home. I kind of wish I was the one who made the offer. Look at this thing. This is so nice. okay because we're still gonna have a great time and make everybody some money look at this stuff look at those are the coolest looking speakers maybe there's a tape player I do need a tape player maybe we'll find one all right we went through and we got a pretty good idea I think I've got a couple truckloads in front of me and uh <laughs> it's a big day. We can back right into this one. I like this. Let's get this truck loaded up. Dave's my new friend, and this is kind of his jam. Dave, could you quickly tell us what um, uh, what the story is with what we're taking and what we're not? Yeah, it's uh, it's tough here. I don't know. So we're taking all of this stuff, no shelving, um, and the odd piece that he's going to pick up. So it's not quite the straight shot I thought it was, but I mean, I've seen those TV shows, right? You know how it is. It's it's not just a pile. It's somebody's stuff, and and all of it has value. So. It's uh, it's absolutely true. It's it's largely um, managing people and emotions when it comes right into this. I I mean I I already watched those shows, so I kind of knew that was the case, but I never directly experienced it. And I came here to attack, you know, to get moving stuff. And uh, there are multiple layers of challenges to this sort of thing. As uh, very, very challenging and frustrating at times. He's a professional. He knows all about this. Anyway, let's keep loading this truck.
realized we were still in time warp mode for that entire sequence, but that's okay because I didn't really say anything particularly interesting. Nope, don't think so. Wowie zowie. Whew. I'm going to see if I can find some more little things. Because I know there's more space, but I don't think I can strap anything big on there anymore. It's a pretty big load. A big heck yeah. I'm gonna see if there's any more little stuff I can throw in the shred. And then we're gonna do the good stuff. Am I just throwing that? Yeah, I think we're all right. Ugh. Load number one, let's see how we do. Some people are in a big hurry. Suppose we're also in a big hurry. beans cheeky little 860 pounds that was actually my estimation looking at the tires was 800 pounds uh, so that was all shred so we only got 6880 which is fine um, it's it would justify the time and the gas spent if I got it all for free but that wasn't the arrangement that we made unfortunately um, I'm not really gonna make anything off of that but I have my own uh, value that I create by being able to share cool stuff with you guys. Now, that's not a great run, all things considered, but I wanted to move some big chunks. You know, I wanted to make my presence known. The first load, just get that, that visual impact so that everybody can enjoy the... Um, uh, the encouraging satisfaction that comes from seeing big chunks of progress happen. You know, just get a little, just a little squeeze of that, you know, that motivation that comes from seeing a plan come together. You know what I'm talking about. So the next run, we're gonna get the big value stuff. Now, unfortunately we started this a little late um, and the whole thing has gone kind of slow so, I gotta make a plan. I think we're gonna do the big fancy stuff next. Let's see how much those catalytic converters are worth. Because, I don't know about the raw honeycomb. I've never removed them like that. I don't know if anybody likes to buy that stuff. We're gonna find out by going to the second best buyer in town. Big house converters. All right, I just loaded up the batteries and the catalytic converters because Big House Converters does have a competitive price on batteries, but they close at 4.30 and we really gotta go. Um, and I didn't have time to sit and discuss the whole thing. 10 minutes late. That's too late. Turn around, try it again. So we're prepping for a second load of shred, which will go in tomorrow, along with um, the prepared steel and the aluminum breakage.
This one just crumbles. Doesn't matter to me. Off you go. This is my favorite part. When somebody asks if the monitor is CGA, what does that mean? Which one? The Tandy. So uh, that's three barbecues and two lawnmowers, a bunch of other junk, and a microwave. Uh, I might not bother with the other microwaves. We'll see. Is there any more where that came from? That's a good piece of prepared. Okay. I was looking for. All right, I'm gonna load up the rest of the of the shred, and then maybe, maybe we'll get the uh, the prepared steel in the back. This one's a little long. Beautiful. Thanks All right. See you tomorrow. So we've got another pile of steel. I'm not really surprised it piled up again. We're going to bring that in in the morning. When we come back here, we're going to grab all of the good stuff. I mean, it's all good stuff. But we left the better stuff for last. <sighs> Day two. I'll be honest with you, I wanted this to be a one day thing but that was a bit optimistic at the very least um, this is just gonna be probably another 60 bucks maybe 80 because there's a little bit a little bit of aluminum breakage and a couple low-grade motors and whatever um, 700 pounds $80 calling it now That thing's like 250 pounds. You would've got an extra, would've got an extra 10 bucks if we put it in that pile instead of this pile. Doesn't matter to some people. Never gets old. Well, I was right and I was wrong. We had 828 pounds total. I'm not gonna go through everything. There's like quite a few items on this list, but uh, $107.65.
I always like when I'm wrong about that part. In that direction. Now, back to ground zero. We gotta go get the good stuff. This stuff right here. No steel. What about these? This one's... So that one has a steel support cable. the non-ferrous load. What are we thinking? Um, get your guesses in. I'm gonna say we're looking at $500 in catalytic converters. That's the exciting part. And, oh, the aluminum's, are, ouch, very hot, but also pretty heavy. Uh, we probably got... Batteries? Yeah, for the batteries, we probably, uh, I got a hundred bucks last time I brought in more than that. So I'm gonna say probably $80 in batteries and about the same in aluminum, maybe a bit more. Let's find out. Oh, and $15 worth of, worth of wire. And here we are again, during office hours this time. Now I'm really hoping they can be super competitive with their pricing on the rest of the materials that I've got because I would love to not have to drive all the way up the hill. And I am willing to take a bit of a loss, a bit of a loss. However, if it's a difference of 30 or $40, I will drive all the way up the hill. Maybe they'll give me a price and we'll fight about it a bit. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. Uh, I decided to just sell it all right here rather than drive up the hill. We'll see if that worked out. How's it going? Not bad today. How are you? Good. So the big letdown here, I'm just gonna have to do it hot uh, and sweat for a minute. I do this for you. Um, they bought the wire at insulated number three and there was 31 pounds there, so 97 cents. Not super stoked about that, it was $30. The rest of this doesn't really matter, uh, cause none of it's gonna be as big of a difference as that. But, um, for the batteries, they gave me 30 cents for the 191 pounds. So it's, we're gonna compare those five cents difference. So we lost $10 on the batteries, that part I was fine with. Aluminum was $14. So we lost $25 uh, on the prices because they were much lower on the aluminum price, but I, you know, explained the situation. I was just going to bring it up the hill unless we could get a little bit closer and I'd sell it here. So he gave me an extra three cents on the aluminum. So that brought us to a $25 difference, which to me, you know, the gas and the time uh, to go into another transaction, plus they're often kind of slow at Empire. You know, it's just, it's just what happens when you're that popular and you have that many people rolling in. I was willing to accept that, but the, the $30 difference on the wire, that bites a little bit. So I threw away $55 um, doing it that way. Uh, <laughs> More importantly, what we're all interested in is the uh, the catalytic converters, right? Well, I am, anyway. Um, the loose bead don't cut your catalytic converters apart. That's $30 a pound, so that's $90. That's not much. Um, and then $140 each for uh, the other ones. They were considered low-grade domestic, uh, which is too bad. What did we find on the app? We didn't actually find it on the app. Well, anyway. We got $690, and that seems pretty good. I'm sure he'll be happy with that. Yeah, yeah, I threw away 50 bucks. I didn't mean to. Oops. I miss the early part of COVID where everyone went shopping with bags on their heads and there was nobody on the roads. But that part notwithstanding, you can always count on traffic. Now, I don't think my client will be disappointed in this payout or, you know, the payout from the scrap overall. We had like 
750, no, that's 700 here. We had like 800, 860 in scrap. That's pretty good. And we're still gonna pull those, uh, those shells at the end of it all, even though I think this is the end of it all, but he wants to give it a couple more days to try and sell a couple more shelves. And fair enough, you know, I'd want to get the best value for them too. But they're like, they're still gonna be like a dollar each or something, just under a dollar each. It's got like 150 of them there. Regardless, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that I didn't get him an extra $30 for that wire, and I'm disappointed that I didn't get him the a better price for those caps. But that is a low-grade domestic. I think it was off of some Ford van or something. Or, no, nah, a Lincoln, maybe? I don't know. But all of that is going straight to him. I'm not getting a cut. What I'm getting out of this, uh, we only sort of discussed, and that's uh, what I'm heading to do now. See, I'm able to be fairly generous with my time doing things like this, largely thanks to you guys. Because the fact that I can, you know, look for things with content being their value, means I can like go on these sorts of adventures and this has been a certain kind of fun however I do still intend to get paid for my gas at the very least and there's one thing left that I'm hoping with a little personal salesmanship well we'll see how we do if you can really tell but uh we made a dent a good dent but for now my work here is done got in so i should be able to get out oh yeah oh yeah like a glove let's go home Those are all aluminum rims, 10 of them with tires, but the tires are pretty jacked. So we're not, we're not keeping the tires. And that is my pay. I didn't buy those. That's what I got paid for two days worth of work and a good portion of a tank of gas. So was this profitable? No, not really. Um, those would be 150, maybe $200 worth of aluminum. Um, so that's not counting the day that I'm going to spend. Okay, it won't take that long, but I do still have to spend time uh, removing the tires and taking the tires to the dump and taking the things. It's gonna be a full tank of gas uh, when all is said and done, which is about 80 bucks, uh, leaving me with not very much profit for... It doesn't really matter because the whole point of this was an adventure and like I said before, it's because of these videos that that's even possible. So if you enjoyed this, then please consider sharing this video or at the very least liking and commenting and letting me know how you felt because this could be a whole thing. I wouldn't mind this being a whole thing, especially if, uh, if that Dave fella has a lot more clients uh, on the way. We'll see. That could be cool. But I can't really justify it unless... You guys are enjoying this. So let me know what you thought. I thought this was pretty cool. Now, no, my job was not to clean the whole thing out. And this one was a unique scenario because they don't actually have to clean the whole place out. It's just an infill. It got purchased in as is condition. So he's just liquidating as much as he can get and, uh, and moving on. So. It's a bit unique in that situ in that in that respect. Pretty cool that we got to be a part of it. Pretty cool of you guys to come along. 
pretty cool if you left it better than you found it. Now keep doing the thing. Thank you.